on Tropical Cyclone Uma, currently a Category 1 on the Saffir Simpson Hurricane Wind Scale with winds of 80 miles per hour and a pressure of 969 millibars. That's what it looks like right now. Here's what the CDPS scale is saying. So currently it is a stage 7 on the CDPS scale with significant wind speeds, extensive and extreme rainfall potential, storm size being significant to major, and a major overall threat to land is associated with this storm. That does mean that devastating damage is possible with this storm. More information on what land areas this storm could be impacting will be coming up in the near future. So, where's the storm right now? Well, it is at 15.5 degrees south, 164.3 degrees east. Category 1 on the Saffir Simpson Hurricane Wind Scale. The storm is expected to move southward, and here is how far away it is from different land areas. So, from Levan, 320 miles. From Rannan, 350. From Port Villa, 390 miles. So, when it gets into watches and warnings, no watches or warnings in effect right now, although that is probably going to change here within the next 12 to 24 hours. As the storm does head southward, it could impact that island, you can see, almost directly south of the storm. So here's what the models are saying. This is how the storm is looking like when it does come to precipitation and the track the storm is going to take. By Monday, it does look as if the storm is going to be approaching that island, that big island to the south there. Then by Tuesday, it will have passed it with significant precipitation being expected, especially on the western side there. So what are sea surface temperatures looking like? Well, it looks like the um, storm is going to impact 27 degree sea surface temperatures. That's what it's going to get into meaning impacts are going to be lower than if it was in 30 degrees C surface temperatures. Here's what the wind model's looking like. You can see all the way up to category three winds possible with the storm, although it does look as if that's not overly likely at this time. Looks like category two maximum winds are possible with this storm. It does impact uh, that island, as you can see to the south there. So what are the chances of tropical storm force winds? Well, in Levan, 30% ran and 15% in Port Villa, 20%. So what are the models looking like? Well, this is what they're looking like. Intensity-wise, the storm is expected to peak by most models at around Category 2, with a Cat 3 peak by the GFS. Um, and then you can see here the GFS and the h wharf lowering wind shear, the most likely outcome. Track, generally a southward track. Not a surprise to anyone that's been watching the storm. And here's its satellite presentation. Overall looking very good, in my opinion. Uh, the system does have quite the northern eye wall. Southern eye wall looks like it will begin to develop shortly. Thank you so much for watching. Here we are with Force 13's outlets. You can follow Force 13's outlets, the website force13.com with the latest. You can also find our YouTube page. You're probably there already, but if not, subscribe if you haven't so far. You can also find us on Facebook, Force 13, all in text. And it's at Force 13 on Twitter if you'd like to get in touch with us there. If you want it to feel like Christmas every other week, you can also become a Patreon on the project. You can help Force 13 become even better in the process. Find out more information at patreon.com forward slash force 13.